What's up guys, I'm Sean. Welcome back to Fix My Home channel. Today we want to show you how to replace the window. As you see, we replaced that one over there and we're going to replace this one. So first of all, you have to take the old window out. I have a video, so if you want to check how to take the old window out, so I'm going to put it in the description, you can check it out. So after you check the, take the window out, it's going to be very simple. So just make sure everything is clean and all the area is clear to put the window in. And that's it. It's ready to go. Never hold the window horizontal like this guy did. So always you have to keep it vertical. If you keep it horizontal, it may break the window. So never do that. So here, what we do, we put it up and we make sure everything is uh, uh, clear and is good fit. So my R is very a little tight, so we have to make the space a little and then try it again. So you always need to have an inch uh, gap between the frame and the window, so to window go smoothly. So in, in our case, so it's a little less, you know, we have less space and we have to uh, force it. It's not the big deal, but it's better when you measure it, so you always you leave the half an inch uh, gap at the end of the video i'm going to share with you guys the secret how you can replace your window entire home very cheap so don't listen with the, all the business uh, marketing it costs you twenty thousand fifty thousand to replace the window so you can do very cheap so i'm gonna uh, attach in the end of the video so after these guys uh, put the window you know in so you have to secure it to the to the start. So this is the the screw we use. So I'm gonna put the link in description if you wanna check it out. So and then we're gonna attach the window to the start. It's very simple. It's you're just gonna go a couple of screw around the frame and it's gonna go to the start and hold the window on the place. So but one thing you have to make sure when you put the screw in, you have to uh, able to close and open the window very smoothly so make sure you check because sometimes you have to put in some spot more screw to let the doors close and open as smooth and make sure you test the door is locked and uh, that's it so as you see you put the screw here you don't even can see it so nobody is gonna see that screw so it's not gonna be looked back so I'm going to show you a little trick. So we leave this hole here to we can add the the foam, window foam. So don't buy the regular foam. So buy the a specific foam for the window. I know it's a little more expensive, but buy that one. Don't buy the other foam. Okay. And this is my beautiful daughter. <laughs> so I'm going to share with you guys how to I bought my window. So you're going to see a lot of marketing around. It's going to cost you 20000 30000 to replace your window. But it only cost me around four to 5000 to replace the 10 window. So the way I did, I went to Home Depot. I did this custom design. My window is custom design. If you have a window over there, they have it available over there. It's much cheaper. So they have to build all for me. So the custom design, it cost me 4000 for 10 window around 4,000. I had paid these guys one 350 and another 150 a day. So 500. So it's, it's what is total of the cost for me. So I believe if you do that way, uh, it's much less expensive for you. Do me the favor and subscribe to the channel and leave the like button. Leave me the comment if you have any question or you want me to um, make the video for you. So see you guys in the other side. Have a good one.